right, welcome back to Full Circle with Joyce. Now, my next guest is here, and we want to talk a bit about nutrition. Everybody loses and gains weight at different uh, rates because of the body type that you're born with and the way that your body type then responds to hormones and specifically also the foods that you eat and what you consume. And recognizing your body type then is absolutely key to being able to lose weight and feel healthy right and feel energetic and so knowing your body type and how to maintain it with your diet is what we want to talk about here with Irene Jiru who's a nutritionist. Kari Busana to the show. All right so maybe first of all you can walk us through the different body types. Uh, we start by saying we have three different body types. Uh, we have the ectomorphs Okay. We have the mesomorphs and we have the endomorphs and somebody will ask me what's all this. <laughs> <laughs> so the ectomorphs are the people that have small body. The mm -hmm. ones that we keep saying this one, even though we pump all the food that we want to give to them, they'll never ex expand. Yeah. Uh, then in between you have the mesomorphs. These are the ones who will just eat something and if, so long as they're working out, mm -hmm. they'll still maintain their own image. Mm -hmm. And at times they'll have the central, yeah. we call it central edema when you're describing it like the fat settles on the middle part okay and then we have the edo uh -huh. these are the ones that if they happen not to choose their foods and all they will just Balloon explode okay. so we have these three types of people and body types mm -hmm. and these are the things that we focus on especially when you're hitting the gym you'll okay. find most people are up and down i'm doing the gym i'm doing all this so when we are looking at the body types, we are going to have all of them aligned to what exercise am I doing? What kind of food am I, am I eating? Mm -hmm. So there are those people who, especially the ecto, ectomorph, they don't really have to do a lot of workout because their body is just there. Yeah. They'll eat the carbohydrates, they will eat all the chips they want, all the rice they want. At no point are they going to grow up and grow big. Right. So they can just have the easy workout, the easy workout that you're saying, just work for 30 minutes. You're good. Just drink a lot of water yeah. after you eat. They are good. Yeah. So Although their some body of those guys also have their own health challenges. Yes. I know an ectomorph who's struggling with cholesterol issues. Yes. Yeah. Because you see, uh, I'll take you back to where we were last week about mm -hmm. the body mass index where we have to really check out all this. You might look slim, but internally you have too much cholesterol. You have already taken too much of the carbohydrates, the fat, and it's retained in there because your body structure literally is not pushing you out for everybody to see that you're gaining the weight. Mm. So we come back to, yes, I'm a, an ectomorph, but I also need to know literally that what are the levels of my cholesterol? Okay. And this is where we were saying we need to have friends, nutritionists in 2020. Right. I hope you got one. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. Yeah. So that All right. even though you're ectomorph, we are able to assess you and keep you up and running. Okay. Like for children less than five years, we do something we call a growth monitoring, which we don't do, do for adults. Mm -hmm. So as you're growing up, you're like, okay, this one. Mm -hmm. But for adults, we also need to have the nutrition checkups, okay. assessment, like let's know what, what level of cholesterol do I have, even though I'm, I look small, yes, yeah. but then what is inside me? Okay. What nutrients do I need to do away with? Which ones do I need to work with? All right. Yes. So how does the body type diet work? Uh, we start with the ectomorph. These are the people that we don't really have to break down the carbohydrates for them mm -hmm. because their body is already has a very high metabolic rate. So they are already using their carbohydrates so fast. Mm -hmm. You'll find that somebody has just finished their food now. They have walked and back and they are saying, I feel like I need to eat some mandazis mm -hmm. and all that. So for them, we don't really push them too much towards eating too much of proteins and fats. Okay. We insist that they take carbohydrates, even okay. though they are going to work out because they need to replace. Okay. And the more carbohydrates they are taking, the more it's pushing up the protein consumption in the body and oh, the fat. Okay, so for them allow them to gain yes muscle. so for them we are encouraging actually to take carbohydrates okay. so that they are able to beat the high rate of metabolism that they have in their body got you interesting yes. so skinny people <laughs> <laughs> eat more carbs <laughs> yes and as you eat them visit a nutritionist yeah. for your bmi and your cholesterol level assessment right, right. then we have the, mes the mesomorphs 
Mess these almost. ones, them, we are we are really trying to because for them they can have a balanced meal. Mm -hmm. They can pick the same levels. They can have carbohydrates, same as meat, mm -hmm. and all. Kuna mungine utasema ah, today I'm eating three big plates of rice and all. But then again, for them, they need to have like an equilibrium kind of feeding. Okay. And the same as exercising and working out. Like they need to choose if I'm going to eat the same levels of my foods, I need to choose the exercise that works for me. Mm -hmm. And you're saying most of their fats are stored in in this yeah, middle region. part. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so we need to know even when they're going for their workouts, where are we focusing as the gym instructors? Mm -hmm. And most of these people, you find out that once they have their lateral mode of feeding, we might find them now falling to the ectomorphs because they just assume that I can just eat. I'm fine, I can just eat. Yeah. So for the endomorphs, where we are saying that the mesomorphs can fall into. The endomorphs are the ones now we are saying they're at risk mm -hmm. of gaining weight so fast. Okay. So for them, we're going to reduce the level of carbohydrates. Okay. We're going to increase the proteins consumption in the fats. And these are the people that we keep a tap with because their chances of falling, to becoming obese is very it's high. It's very high. Okay. Yeah. So for the endomorphs, we are going to have like a very minimal consumption of carbohydrates, unless otherwise, mm -hmm. whereby you visit a nutritionist or a doctor and they realize that you need to increase on the quantity of carbohydrates that okay. you're taking. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, so let's look at what you have here, mm -hmm. which are sort of should help demonstrate, you know, good carbs, uh -huh. good proteins, mm -hmm. um, and eating fruits. Just yesterday uh, or recently, we were learning a lot about making sure that we're consuming enough fruits and vegetables. Yes. So walk us through what you have here mm -hmm. as far as how to then create a balanced diet. Yeah, I'll say I have a plate. Maybe most, I don't know if this one is visible yeah, quite well. This camera. Yes, I'll say we have a plate. When you're doing the counseling, when you're talking about the feeding habits and everything, mm -hmm. we normally focus on we, are, we have to assess you first to find out where are we placing you. Are you, are you the type of ecto? Are you meso or you are endo? So once we have identified that, mm -hmm. that's when we come back and realize that in your plate, what do you really need most? Okay. Let's take, for example, we are, we are working for an endomorph. Who so is going endomorph is the ones who can easily become obese yes okay and we are saying for them we're reducing the level of carbohydrates right. and increasing the portion of the proteins and the fats okay so if you're going to come up let's say for example these are spaghetti mm -hmm. spaghetti we're going to classify them in the plates in the plate as uh, carbohydrates right so we place them there mm -hmm. so their portion is going to be less okay it's going like maybe to be half of this portion because wow. we don't want them to take more of that's that that's like nothing <laughs> that's like nothing okay. yes but when you're going to mix up the proteins we don't have to minimize you can have both the animal protein and the plant proteins okay so, so you endomorphs can, can have a lot of protein yes they can okay. have that high level of proteins for themselves mm -hmm. they can also consume enough fats okay. you can do a yogurt if you don't you really have the taste you're able to you are able to consume yogurt it's very necessary okay. and especially when we are trying to encourage people who are who are having a very high appetite and yeah. they have to feed and sometimes you need to feel full. So the yogurt is the fat? The yogurt is a fat okay. and it also helps with the, like when you take yogurt, let's say for example you're hungry and you drink a glass of yogurt, you feel so full. Mm -hmm. It's like you are not hungry. Okay. So we are trying to have a position where that you're feeling full but not because you have eaten very many different kinds of food, mm. but because you took the right thing to occupy the space. Okay. Like you'll find out if you take a lot of carbohydrates, you get full so fast. But you also need to choose this kind of carbohydrates we are taking. We have the simple carbohydrates and we have the complex. complex. Mm -hmm. So if you're going to choose the carbohydrates, we normally pick mostly on the complex. Okay. The complex take longer in the stomach, longer right. time to digest, and you, f you stay fuller for a long for time longer. as compared to the simple one. All right. Yes. So let's move on on the plate then for the so, endomorphs. Yes. Endomorphs, then you're going to have the fruits. They need to take plenty of fruits because of the roughages and like we are going to give all of them and they are going to feel like my plate is not really favoring me, especially those ones who will be having too much urge for the chips, for example, mm -hmm. or they like to have their rice. Mm -hmm. So their plate is going to look something closer with to this, yogurt. if not exactly But how come there are no veggies? The vegetables, I, I forgot to come with some vegetables, okay. but we are going to have them in the higher capacity. That way you see, so I've put a lot of fruits. The, the fruits and the vegetables is what is going to be the okay. highest proportion of their plate. All right. Yes. Great. So mm -hmm. that plus the yogurt would be the 
sort of the meal plan for an endomorph. Yes. That's the, the body type that can gain weight very, very easily and almost become obese. Yes. So let's look at the, the mesomorphs. Mesomorphs are the ones you're saying okay. they can balance their food. They can just have same quantity of everything. Okay. They don't have to stress over it. But then again, they also need to choose their exercises. Okay. So what are we having and what are we exercising on? All so right. we're going to have our rice. Everybody loves rice. Yeah. So we're going to, for them, it's just going to be equilibrium. Like you can have the same quantity of something. Let's okay. say they're going to have their cashew nuts here. Okay. And then they're going to have their, this pumpkin soup. Okay. Or well, you can have the pumpkin leaves. Some of, the, some of us, we don't like those old traditional kind <laughs> of vegetables. Yeah. So we just want to have the cabbage and that's it. <laughs> so let's also look at the kind of vegetables that we are having. Okay. We pick the vegetables that we are having, like we can have the pumpkin leaves, okay. the pumpkin soup. You can just mash them well and make something out of it. Okay. Like say we were discussing last time and we were talking about mokimo. Mm -hmm. And you're saying when you're making it, you're going to use these leaves more than you're going to use the potatoes and everything else. Okay. So for them, it can be balanced. It can just be the same, roughly almost like 50%, like the same level. All so right. they don't have a problem of that. Okay. Yes. Finally, let's look at the... <laughs> what are the other ones called? I only remember endomorphs. Ectomorphs. The ectomorphs are the ones you're saying. They, they just can take as <laughs> many carbohydrates as they choose. You might decide in the morning to make a chips. There's yeah. a guess there to spaghetti. Ama, ama dini. Their level of carbohydrates are around. Okay. They can have the fun of eating the most carbohydrates that okay. they want. Mm -hmm. Because you're saying in their body system, they are metabolism is quite high. So you're actually encouraging them to eat more carbs? More carbohydrates. Okay, and less protein. Less of the proteins, like my beans here. Okay. Then the fruits and the vegetables, we normally don't have a limit. Enjoy okay. as well as you can. The most that you can have, you can enjoy them. Okay. Then I'll still use my pumpkins here. Yeah. So for them, we're encouraging more of carbohydrates. Okay. Because their body already is metabolizing high. Yeah. So they're breaking down all the the carbohydrates that is needed in the body. Okay. There is nothing they are storing back that will say they have gained and they have excess fats in their system. What's that one in the corner next to the rice? This is a sweet potato that's just mashed. Okay. So who, who should be taking It's that? a carbohydrate. Okay. So anybody can have it depending okay. on the portion. And the eggs then would fall under protein? The eggs, yes, would fall cheese. under proteins. The cheese would fall under the fat where you, you are saying that you need to consume the healthy fats yeah. instead of uh, basically using the margarine and all. Sometimes you can choose to alternate. You can use cheese okay. instead of all the other fats. Okay. Yes. And so then again, the risks then of not sort of following your right diet uh, for your body type very quickly as we get ready to go on break you can maybe speed us through the major risks mm -hmm. um, of not following the right diet for your body type I will start by saying it's it's a risk all around because we're saying if your body needs a lot of carbohydrates if you don't take that then you're going to be fighting on you on the streets that you have collapsed because you're hungry mm -hmm. or because you did not have the enough nutrients for that day mm -hmm. so it's it's both ways if you don't have it in the system then your body is not going to work well you're yeah. going to feel weakly you're going to feel what if you're going to take it excessively let's say if your body is a meso type then you're going to find you in the endo, in the endo, endo, endo type, mm -hmm. whereby we have now to start working from getting you from endomorph and coming back. Mm -hmm. Whereas we'll have people who have maybe both. Oh, so you can have more than you one. You can have more than one body type. Okay. So you need to understand that. How does that look like when you have more than one body type? It looks like that I might be an ecto and a mefu, whereby I want to eat more. Okay. But my body type does not allow that. Okay. So you find out that you're eating more and you have moved now from being an ecto to a mefo. Okay. And you need to balance and know literally that my appetite, your appetite could be high, but then your body does not contain that. Gotcha. So you need to be able to work and run between the two. All right. Yes. Great. Well, Irene Jiro, thank you very much for coming through to the show. Uh -huh. She's a nutritionist and has told us about three body types. <laughs> it's like been a science lesson. Yes. Ectomorphs, 
mesomorphs and endomorphs. Yeah. Yes. So very important to understand what your body type is so that you can feed it mm -hmm. accordingly. You can nourish it accordingly. Thank you for bringing this. It's been very, very helpful. I really appreciate it. All right, guys, we're going to take a short break now as we get ready to get to the top of the hour. And indeed, there's more Full Circle with Joyce coming your way. Stay tuned. I'll see you at 9 a.m. Thank you.